Hi guys, it's Nero and welcome to my first tutorial. Today we're gonna make a game timer. It's gonna display hours, minutes and seconds. And without further ado, let's get cracking. So, we're gonna make a new project. You can implement this in your existing project if you want. I'm gonna name this project Game Timer HMS, which stands for hours, minutes and seconds. Okay, so create project. So the first thing we need is a UI element called canvas, which is going to display our UI elements. I'm going to rename it to UI canvas. And then I'm gonna make a new text UI element called Game Timer Text. So I'm gonna change the font size to 20, I'm gonna change the font style to bold, and I'm gonna change the rec to transform to be on the top of the screen. If you hold down Alt and Shift, you can see this preset is going to dock it to the top of the page and now we have a text element here that says new text I'm going to change that to timer ok so now we can add a new empty game object or you can add this script on an existing object it doesn't matter I'm going to name this game timer object and I'm gonna add the component called game timer script on it in C sharp. So let's open up the script. Okay so the first thing we're gonna do is delete this start function we don't need it and this comment here and we're gonna need a uh, using Unity Engine dot UI. Okay. So now first we're gonna declare a public text called Game Timer Text, and then we're gonna declare a float called Game Timer. And at the start of this function, we're gonna set the game timer to zero at, by default and on start of this function we're gonna add the time to the game timer so game timer plus equals time dot dead time okay so now what we will do is we're gonna declare an int for seconds another int for uh, minutes and another int for hours and in seconds is gonna be we're gonna cast int type integer the seconds are gonna be game timer and the remainder by dividing by 60 okay so this, uh, this is gonna be our seconds our minutes it's gonna be int of our game timer divided by 60 and remainder of dividing by 60. Okay. So int hours is gonna be similar to cast an int of the game timer divided by 3600 because that's how many seconds there are in an hour and remainder by dividing by 24 ok so now we're gonna need a string so we can format it string uh, timer string equals string dot format and inside these brackets we're gonna do some stuff ok so now we're gonna pass in our values. Here are gonna be our hours, here are gonna be minutes, and here are gonna be seconds. 
So hours is the first one, minutes and seconds. Okay, so now we're gonna format how it should look like. The hours should only take one place, the minutes are gonna take two places, and the seconds are gonna take two places as well. But we wanna divide the values so it looks nicer, so we're gonna add this. Okay, so I think this should be it. Now we need to set our game timer text dot text to be equal timer string. Oh, I mistyped. Oh, sorry. No, let's correct this. Game timer string. There. Okay, let's save the script. And now we should see an empty space here next to the game timer text when the script compiles and we just grab this game timer text that we created earlier and drag it on this place. Okay, so now if I press play, it's gonna take some time apparently. There, our timer is working. Okay, so now because we don't want to wait a whole hour, we're gonna just speed up the time a little bit, let's say by 600, save the script, let's play again to check out if the hours are working. Okay, so, so yeah, it's, it's working nice. So, okay, this is more or less it for this tutorial. Thanks you guys for watching, see you next time.